celebrate Chinese New Year in style with these great looking animation templates from Envato Elements. This fantastic looking intro video is fully customizable with After Effects. The template is easy to use and it doesn't require any third party plugins. Hi, I'm Jonathan Lamb from Envato Tuts Plus and in this video we'll take you through how to use and install this particular video template pack which you can download from the Envato Elements website. We'll learn how to change the central image of the animation, how to change the text and also how to include your own logo. So before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With one subscription, you'll have unlimited access to assets such as the one we'll be showcasing in this video, millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing, and you can cancel at any time. Subscribe now with the link in the description below. So let's start by heading over to Envato Elements and over at the top search bar here, we're going to type in Chinese New Year. And at the top here, we can also go into the search items and narrow it down to video templates. And let's go ahead and click on the search button here. And here straight away, you'll see that we've got the Chinese New Year 2021 video template that we want to download and use. So let's go ahead and click on the download button here to get all the necessary files and open it up in After Effects to get started. Awesome. Now that we're inside After Effects, let's take a quick look at the layout to gain an overview of the project. At the bottom here, you'll see that we've got our main composition, which is called Chinese New Year 2021. And this is where we'll be previewing our video comp and where we'll eventually render from once we've finished customizing the project. Under our project panel at the top left here, you can see that we've got our main composition over here, Chinese New Year 2021, as well as two folders. The first folder here is where we'll be containing all of our assets such as logos and images. The second folder contains compositions of three of our working compositions here. And these will be used to customize our final video such as changing the main image in the center here and also the text at the bottom and inside the circle here, Chinese New Year and Happy New Year 2021, as well as the image or the logo at the very bottom. Now, the badge composition here allows you to change the main image of our video, which you can see is currently set to an image of the ox. It will also allow you to edit the Chinese New Year text inside the circle here as well. The logo placeholder comp here is where we'll be replacing the Envato logo at the bottom here. And the text and logo composition allows you to change the text underneath here, which is currently set to Happy New Year 2021. So let's start with the badge composition by double clicking on the badge composition here. And you'll see we have a few layers which make up the image we are seeing in our preview screen here. Now this includes the shape of the layers, which are these square patterns here, as well as the circle and these circular frames here as well. But we don't really need to worry about these shape layers unless you want to remove or replace them. Now to change the text Chinese New Year at the top here, all we need to do is find the text layer, which is currently set to the top and double click on it. This will allow you to edit the text by typing on the keyboard or using the character panel over here to change the size of the text or the font, for example. 
So let's go ahead and change the text just to show you how this is done. So we'll change this now to Lunar New Year, like so. And you'll see automatically it is centralized to the image. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and change the central image here, which is currently set to the ox. And you can see the ox layer here is symbol. So we can switch this on and off just to show you where it is. And the way that we go ahead and replace this is by going over to our project panel here. And you can see over here, we've got our assets folder. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here is where you can import your own image and logo files into the project. Now, as you can see here, I've already uploaded some extra animal symbols. So we can open up this animal folder and we've got two extra animal symbols that we can use for our project. So let's go ahead and hide our bull image here like so. And we can go ahead and drag one of these two symbols here into our composition. Now you can see I've already added these two symbols. So let's go ahead and delete these for now. And we can show you how this is done by just going ahead and clicking and dragging on one of these symbols and moving it into our composition like so. So I'm just going to drag it just below the bull symbol here like so. And you can see straight away the image is inside our preview panel. Now you may need to resize your image so we can open this up, go to the transform options here, and we can scale this down by clicking and dragging it like so, or inputting a value of 28% into the scale options here as well. Now, depending on the type of image you're using, you may also need to reposition your image like so. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to replace this image with something else, just to test it out, let's go ahead and test out this other symbol here. And you can see this is a symbol of a rat. And you can do exactly the same thing, just going into the transform options here and just clicking and dragging it to scale it down and then repositioning it like so. Awesome. So now that you know how to change the central image here, let's go ahead and turn the original ox image back on like so, so that we can continue with the project. Next, we want to go ahead and open up the logo placeholder composition here by double clicking on this. And you can see we can now go ahead and change the logo inside this composition here. So let's go ahead and turn this logo off or hiding it by clicking on the eye icon here. And now from here, let's go ahead and go into our assets folder. Again, we'll be using a similar process that we use to replace the central image in, where we'll be using a logo file that has been imported into this assets folder here. So let's navigate to the imported logo file, which should be somewhere here at the bottom. And let's go ahead and click and drag it into our logo placeholder composition like so. Now from here, we can then go ahead and resize it to our liking by going into the transform options and then going to scale and just sort of scaling it down like so. Now to make sure that we're choosing the right size for this logo, let's go ahead and go back into the original composition called Chinese New Year 2021. And you can see what the logo looks like at the bottom here in the preview screen. So any change that we make here, like so, will be reflected inside this main composition. So you can see how the logo is now slightly larger or if we make it a little bit smaller, this will also be changed. So I like it a little bit larger so we can see it in the composition. 
Excellent. Now, the final composition that we can edit is called the text and logo composition. So let's go ahead and double click on this. And this will allow you to change the text, which is positioned just below the central image here, which is currently set to Happy New Year 2021. So let's go ahead and simply double click on the text layer at the top here. And from here, we can change it to anything that we want, including different languages. So to do this, let's go ahead and duplicate this first text layer here by selecting it and then pressing Control D on the keyboard. Just gonna hide the first layer here and then double click this second layer. And here we can go ahead and paste Happy New Year in Chinese like so. Or if we go ahead and duplicate this layer again, we can also go ahead and use another language or paste in another language such as Vietnamese. This will give you three different languages to choose from for our final render of the video. Excellent. So now that you've finished editing the project using the three comps, you can then go back to the original Chinese New Year comp here and click on the preview button to see what it looks like. So that's it for this video. Feel free to include your own logo and images to the After Effects template. And if you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos that you want to see. If you're looking to learn even more, check out some of the other videos in the channel as well. So have fun and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.